Dear I3L Stars, in this tutorial I will show you how you can share your lessons and assignments in i 3 LearnUp with your students in your Google Classroom account. Of course, you will first need to open the lesson that you want to share with your students. Let's take a look how that works. So first you will open the main menu, click open, and then you just go to the lesson you want to use. It's a lesson that is saved in my personal content and it's called the European Union. Opening the lesson, I just need to click the check mark and there it goes. Once your lesson is ready to share, open the collaboration menu in the main toolbar right here and then you click file sharing. You will now see a menu on the right where you can choose between sharing your lessons in i 3 LearnUp as was possible previously and sharing your lesson through Google Classroom. We logically choose for Google Classroom here. If you haven't linked your i 3 LearnUp account with your Google Classroom account yet, you will have to do that first. It's very simple. Let's take a look. Just click connect leave the browser window right here and then you just select the account from your Google Classroom account. Now in this demo version I will need to take a shortcut to confirm my choice to link my Google Classroom account to my i3 LearnUp account. And there it goes. Immediately the lesson that I had selected opens again and I can just continue where I left off. So once your i3 LearnUp account is linked to Google Classroom, it's very easy to share your lesson with your students. So once your i3 LearnUp account is linked to Google Classroom, it's very easy to share your lesson with your students. First select the class you want to share the lesson with and you're ready to share. Well, that's easy as I only have one class in Google Classroom and then share. Your lesson has now been shared on Google Classroom with the lesson group i3 Academy, as you can see in this menu on the right hand side. So now you can just go and check your lesson assignments in your Google Classroom, or you can immediately view your shared lessons right here. Now in this menu, you can easily follow which students that have opened your lesson or assignment, and you can return to the shared lesson at any time with the shortcut in the upper right corner of the screen. Closing the menu here, you would see the shortcut menu right here, which brings you back to all the shared sessions you have at this point. Now let's have a look how that works for the student. The student will receive an email as soon as the teacher has shared a lesson, and that assignment will also be listed in the student's tree. So let's have a look. Let's log in with the student name that I have right here. Type in my password. And there we go. Opening my classroom here. This is the student stream where all assignments come in. And you can also find the assignment in the classwork section right here. The assignment contains a link that the student will need to use to open the lesson in i3 LearnUp. There we go. And the lesson immediately opens in i3 LearnUp. Now the student can immediately see all the information that has been shared by the teacher. So he can get started with the shared lesson. So as you can see, there's a title page. There is a page with a video while using the secondary pointer, the student can watch the video right here. And so on. And then on the third page, the student finds an assignment that he will need to fulfill. In this assignment, the student needs to put the countries in the right position. Now it might be more practical to put the page in full screen so you can see all the information that is shared on the page. 
Continuing with the assignment, I'm putting all the countries in the right position and ready. The student can also use the other tools that are available in the student version of i3LearnUp. For instance, the text box function is immediately possible to be used on the page. So I'm adding the name of this country right here, which is Spain. I'm adding the name of this country, which is France. And I could continue with all the other countries, of course. It's perfectly possible if the student would like to continue working on this assignment at a later time. To do so, the student clicks on the Submit Lesson function here on the right-hand side and will have to choose the option Save File for Later. The student will return to his Google Classroom account immediately. The student can open the link again and the student will be able to continue working where they left off, which was here on this third page where you can see when going back to full screen, I left off right here. So I could continue working with my primary pointer to track the countries to the correct position and to use the text box functionality, for instance, to put in the name of Italy. Once the work is completed, the student submits the lesson to the teacher. Doing it in the same way by clicking the Submit Lesson functionality on the right-hand side and now submitting the file. Clicking OK and then closing the window. The student now only needs to hand in the work and mark as done. And of course, select that option a second time. This assignment was now handed in to the teacher. The teacher can easily see which assignments are already completed by clicking the shortcut in the upper right corner of the screen. In this overview, you can see which lessons were shared with Google Classroom. Clicking the folder icon, you can follow the progress of the shared lesson. With the stop icon, the lesson is no longer shared and the students can no longer open the lesson until you restart the lesson sharing again. And with the trash icon, you can remove the shared lesson. Now let's open this shared lesson right here. In the tab participants, the teacher has an overview of the students that have opened the shared lesson. When a student has submitted the lesson, an eye icon will appear next to the student's name. By clicking on this icon, the teacher immediately has a quick overview of what the student has modified in the lesson. By clicking on the folder icon, the teacher opens the submitted lesson of the student. The teacher can then immediately track what the student has modified in the lesson. The teacher can then easily switch to his Google Classroom account to give feedback and points to the student for the completed assignment and finally indicate the assignment has completed. To do that, the teacher switches to the classwork section and then can see that one student has handed in the classwork. Now to give feedback to the student, the teacher just has to return the lesson assignment and just give a brief comment. Good work. Let's do that right here. And then return that comment to the student. That's very efficient and above easy isn't it? Do you have any questions or suggestions? Do not hesitate to visit and of course like our Facebook page and groups 
or just send us an email to i3allstars at i3-technologies.com. See you next time for another inspiring tutorial.